Crespo has those great hairstyles. <laughs> we are set for boxing action. So too is Ed Darian. Let's get the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is scheduled for 10 rounds, and it's in a lightweight division. The referee is Fred Yusi. And our boxing fans, the principals. First in the blue corner, wearing the white trunks with the blue trim. He weighed in at an even 139 pounds. This young gentleman has 25 wins, seven losses, one draw, with 16 knockouts. He is a native of Durango, Mexico, and now residing in Tucson, Arizona. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome aboard Jesus Gallardo. Gallardo. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the black trunks with the white trim. He too weighed in at an even 139 pounds. This young man has 21 wins, one loss, one draw, with 15 knockouts. He is a native of Manchester, England, and now residing in the bed section of Brooklyn, New York, and is the current WBA America's lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Tundi, the Dr. Foster. Foster. Sunday Foster, who took a couple of months off from action because of an elbow problem, had some minor elbow surgery, and now returning. Says he is 100% ready to go. Jesus Gallardo's last fight was in Mexico on May the 1st. He won a TKO in the fifth round. Gallardo is 29 years old, been fighting professionally for eight years. He wanted to touch gloves. Foster didn't want it. And Sam, you mentioned that the Sunday Foster had elbow surgery. Just take a look at the scar on Gallardo's uh, right arm. It looks like it, his arm has practically been severed. Yeah. And he throws his punches awkwardly. for the jab by Foster. Nice left hand to the body too, Sam. One of Foster's biggest fans is New York football Giants head coach Bill Parcells. He's followed his career very closely. Right, break, Always roots for him, watches step him whenever he can, probably Same watching go. tonight. Go. Probably thinks he has an older brother that can be a cornerback. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bill Parcells a big fight man. Sharp jab by Foster. We need the fight fans, Sam, and I'm a football fan, so we're even. There you go. All right, stop holding. Step back and break clean. Come on. Step back and break clean. Monster turned pro at the end of 1985. After a couple of years of tremendous disappointment in the Golden Gloves when he lost in the finals in close, Let close him go, fights. White. Let him go. lost to Johnny Duplessis who stopped him in the ninth round in New Orleans in January. Sam, this fight looks to me like it's going to be target practice for under the doctor. Gallardo, a little slow, very, very awkward. But you see telling Gallardo not to hold, but I don't believe that he speaks a word of English. Foster trying to follow up. He may not speak English, Sam, but he knows what he's doing. If he's holding, the referee says no. He knows what he's doing. Good jabs by Foster. All right, Brick, step back and break me. Come on. Now, Yoda just throws his punches awkwardly. Again, leaves himself wide open when he punches. Look at that. Wide open. Where did that right hand punch. come from? Did get in a straight right hand that time. But Foster got a little careless. Don't push down. Come on, watch yourself. You see, that's sign language, Sam. They say don't, and they <laughs> bang in the back of the head. Gallardo walked into a straight left hand. He's now he's doing some wrestling. Keep your hands up. Don't hold him hit. End of round one. Oh. 
who's scheduled for 10. Sunday Foster in the black trunks. Jesus Gallardo in the white. Foster looking for a world ranking. Trying to move up in the lightweight division. That fight against Johnny DuPlessis could have given him that type of ranking. Another warning to Gallardo. He's done a lot of holding. He's really fought a rough fight. Very, very awkward fight. He, apparently, he doesn't have too much experience against southpaws. He may not even have even known. Gallardo doubled over for the body punch and goes down. I think he's claiming a low blow. But the referee is not acknowledging a low blow. Sam Gallardo is holding the groin area. It didn't look low to me. There's another punch to the body. Maybe trying to answer back some of the rough stuff. There's some rough stuff of his own, but he is banging away at Gallardo. See what's happening. Force is starting his punches, and then Gallardo is pulling them down, which is making the punches go low. This is a fight that can e easily get out of hand if the referee doesn't stay right on top of it. No featured event still to come. Michael Dokes. Taking on Wesley Watson in the scheduled 10 rounder. Now Gallardo getting a little more aggressive. Well, again, when he does, he leaves himself wide open, Sam, as he just did then. Walks in, sticks his chin up in the end, throws a wide punch. Good jab by Foster. Looks like he hooked him behind the head. He shouldn't have been knocked down. He threw him down. Well, one more knockdown, Sam. And the fight's history. It counts as a knockdown. As he's trying to end it. Three knockdowns in one round will do it. And you see Gallardo pulling, pulling his head down. Foster banging the body. Coming back upstairs. Gallardo trying to fight him off. And he's pulling punches his head up, down again. Right, come on, break, get out of here. Keep your punches up. Foster told to keep his punches up. Seemingly, his only punch is that straight right hand. And most of the time, it's not a straight right hand. But he, did, he does get a good one off once in a while. End of round two. Gallardo survives. He was down twice. First time, he thought it was a low blow. Second time, it looked like he was whipped down. Looked to me like he was thrown down the second time. The first time, I thought they were two good body punches. Not one. Right. Oh, took the punches and went down. To stand there too long. You got him with the stiff jab to break his rhythm. They come right in off the jab. Okay? okay. Punch a little bit too much in front of him. Step with the combination right him. Come in. Step to the side. Bang him behind the elbows. All right. Let's see what we see here on the replay as far as the knockdowns are concerned. Now that wasn't a knockdown. No, I just pulled him from behind, behind the head and down he went. And this is earlier. Ooh, is that low? Oh, we can't see because uh, his back was over. Now that one that wasn't was? low. That one wasn't low. But he was doubled over already uh, from what appeared to be a low blow. Take another angle. That's not low, Sam. No, but he was already doubled over. It was earlier. So well, maybe, maybe we owe Mr. Gallardo an apology. Nevertheless, two knockdowns scored officially. In and the we're mean, in round three. In the meanwhile, trainer Francis Romano uh, told Sunday Force to, to throw a stiff jab to break up Gallardo's rhythm. Now, if I've ever what seen, rhythm if does I've, Gallardo have? I haven't seen a fighter with less rhythm than Gallardo has all the time we've been working here in the Felt Forum. But it is good advice to have him throw that stiff, that stiff jab, then he can faint it and catch Gallardo reaching. That is the punch to use. And Foster is using it well. There it is again. Good stiff jab. There it is again, Sam. All night 
long, but only one punch, nothing behind it. Well, he has to catch Gallardo when he's throwing, beat him to the punch when he's throwing one of those punches. He'll, I think that eventually that's what's going to happen. Made a miss. All right, break, come on. Gallardo Step back and break is, clean. Come on, break clean. He's like a, an octopus, the way he can grab you. prefer to see them punch their way out of it. Well, I would too, Sam, but when you see that it's not going to happen, got to be in there, break it up. Oh, come on, step back and break clean. Come on, step back and break clean. Come on. Come on. Yard are certainly not hurt by those knockdowns. Okay. Not, trying, not doing much. Tommy, though, keep those punches up. Come on. Foster Sharp with a jab. Oh, good. Foster seems to have the opening, but doesn't follow up on it. Well, he's he's not using that straight left hand. Uh, as often as I think he should in this fight. He can nail Gallardo with that straight left hand anytime he wants to. Like right now. He's done that job with a jab here in the fourth round, in the third round, excuse me. Baseball, the national. This is round four, scheduled for 10. Linda Foster in the black trunks. Jesus Gallardo in the white. Gallardo's gloves touch the canvas. They're not quite off by the referee. Again, he stumbles. You know, Foster is fighting. Oh, that's oh, also combination. There's oh, the straight left hand. That's exactly what I was going to say. He can step over and throw that straight left hand. Six. Up seven, at five. Takes eight. the mandatory eight. Right. And looking weary right now is Jesus Gallardo. Foster moving in and banging the body. Good move by Tunde Foster. That was the cleanest and the best of the three knockdowns in the fight. Well, Sam, you know, I was going to say that beautiful punches by Foster. I was going to say the Foster could just continue to move to his right and keep sticking to jab and win every round. But he can step over and hold that straight left hand. And get him out of there. And it, this one is almost over. He is just taking apart Gallardo. And he's taking him apart by using all his tools. He has jabbed well, the straight left hand, and he has banged the body. I can step in with the head. Now he's stepping there, and he is back in there again. He is just landing everything. Gallardo not showing much fight now, not coming back. Good left hook lands. Down goes Gallardo, and this fight is over. Two words. They certainly were not. As soon as he started to use that straight left hand, Sam, that was an effective punch. That hurt. Francis Romano. Sunday Foster. Twenty-two, one and one. And a good comeback fight for him. After being off for a couple of months since elbow surgery. Watch this combination. There it is. Right hook, straight left, right down the pipe, and down went Gallardo. And then he just kept banging away. Good hook. Well, that's when he started to put those punches together, Sam. And that's it. Gallardo withers and falls and Foster is a winner Jesus Gallardo will head back for Mexico with another defeat on, tacked onto his record Ed Darian with the official time
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Fred Yusey stops this bout at one minute and 35 seconds of the fourth round, and the winner by a TKO, Tundi, the Dr. Foster. Foster. And how about a nice round of applause for Jesus Gallardo. Let's hear it for him. Music, please. A good show for Tunde Foster, who owns the Continental America's lightweight championship belt, but he wants the world title belt and hoping that this fight will move him a step closer toward a top 10 ranking. We'll be right back. Of 